Foreign Minister Nanaia Mahuta has rejected the idea that New Zealand's on track to becoming a full military ally with the United States. It follows Jacinda Ardern signing up to more defence cooperation with the US and the Pacific. China has lashed out at the joint statement made by Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern and President Joe Biden, warning of grave consequences, Isabel Ewing reports. Cozying up to the United States, what Jacinda Ardern called a warm conversation, resulting in a chilling effect on our relationship with our biggest trading partner. The US and New Zealand's joint statement hyped up relevant problems with ulterior motives, created false information and smeared China. This was the line that drew Beijing's ire. We are concerned with growing strategic competition in the Pacific region, which threatens to undermine existing institutions and arrangements that underpin the region's security. Nanaya Mahuta met with the Chinese ambassador this morning, but wasn't clear on whether Beijing's blasting came up. Not in any particular detail. The meeting wasn't alike. Not in any, not in any particular detail. Um, not, not significantly, actually, no. A defence analyst says New Zealand has entered new dangerous waters getting closer to the US. It sees it as an arena for great power competition. It sees it at a place where military conflict is a possibility. And that differs from New Zealand's perspective. So New Zealand isn't on track to becoming full military allies with the US? Doesn't, I think that's reading a lot into that particular statement. And given how the United States is approaching the Pacific as a zone of contestation between it and the People's Republic of China, we need to tread very carefully. The Green Party alarmed by what it sees as a shift away from New Zealand's independent foreign policy. Are we really following America into its very militaristic way of approaching the world? Meanwhile, new Aussie Foreign Minister Penny Wong is in Samoa chumming up to Prime Minister Fiume Naomi Mata'afa. Uh, we have made a commitment to engage more closely. Really, we do need to have a foreign minister who's taking a bit more interest in this. New Zealand pulled in all directions when it comes to the Pacific, walking the diplomatic tightrope between China and the United States. But foreign policy experts say New Zealand's greatest advantage in the Pacific is also being a small island nation. And if we listen to our Pacific neighbours, rather than talk down to them, that solidarity will pay off. Isabel Ewing, News Hub.